Pinhole camera is a simple device to capture images. You have an illustration in front of you and what you will realize is that the basic principles that we are going to discuss here of ray diagram and how we create the images these principles will be used throughout in the advanced courses of optics as well so possibly this is your first introduction to ray diagram technique so suppose you have a tree in front of a pinhole camera what essentially is pinhole camera you have this box cardboard box now you have the screen here where you see inverted image of the tree and there's a small hole on the opposite side here this what happens is that how does it work we mark point A at the top and point B at the bottom the fact is that when light is incident on A or any other point on this tree anywhere it gets reflected in all directions so from A is going in all directions but only the light which actually passes through this small hole here will be useful in identifying the image so the light in other parts here goes elsewhere but this light actually travels travels through the hole and then comes here so point A which is at the top comes here and on the extreme other end B will also have rays going in all directions like what you have in A reflected rays but one that enters the pin like this forms a extreme end image on the other side of B so we'll call this as A prime and B prime images of A and B respectively all other rays in between pass through this and make image similarly this will make an image like this and that's how so you should be uh, you know careful about the last image which you have here so the best is that you take two extreme points and draw the corresponding rays and join them to get the image intermediate rays need not be drawn now the important thing is that if you shift your screen this screen little back let's say I shift it by this distance here and I make a big screen by shifting this a little back then these rays which were meeting here they will travel more distance and they will meet on the new screen at these points you will have a larger size image of the object here however since light energy was restricted to the small area but now it is spread over big area therefore energy available in large area therefore av energy in available in per unit area that is small area if you take here and compare it with on the prior screen here then what you will notice is that this energy because it is spread in larger area therefore this area will have small energy compared to this one here it is like you for example let's say there is a fire and if you come near this fire then you experience more heat and if you go far 
then these rays will go diverge like this and you will have effectively less energy available similarly if you shift this screen little ahead so it comes here actually in that case image will get shorter it will be this size and also energy per unit area will go up because you have smaller area in which this image is located now Thank you.